In this video for positive maths, we're going to learn about distance, time and speed. The most important tool that we use for these problems is the distance, speed and time triangle. It's very important that we learn how to draw this out accurately. So how we use it is we cover the part that we're looking for. So for example, if we're looking to find the distance, we cover distance with our hand and that tells us how to find it. So distance is equal to speed multiplied by time. So we'll do the same for speed. We cover speed. It tells us speed is equal to distance divided by time. And then to find time, it's going to be equal to distance divided by speed. Some people call this Dad's Silly Triangle. If you use this, it'll just help you to remember what order you put in the letters down in. So distance at the top, speed by time at the bottom. OK, so the next thing we're going to discuss is the units that we use. Let's look at our triangle again. So distance at the top, speed by time at the bottom. For finding distance, we use the formula to find the distance of a journey. We usually find distance in kilometers. For finding speed, we use the formula for speed to find the average speed for a journey. We usually find the average speed in kilometers per hour. This will depend on the unit of distance and speed. And for finding time, we use the formula to find the time taken to travel a distance. One of the things we need to always watch out for is the units that we use to find distance, speed and time. Let's look at this example. If a car travels a distance of 20 kilometers in 30 minutes, we need to calculate the average speed the car traveled. OK, so the first thing we do is we write out our triangle. Distance over speed by time. OK, we are looking for the speed. So we write out our formula. Speed is equal to distance over time. What we're also going to do is write down the units for speed. So the units for speed are kilometers per hour. OK, so let's look at what the information we're given. We're told that the distance is equal to 20 kilometers. And we're told that the time is equal to 30 minutes. So this is really what we have to watch out for. We are given the time in minutes. But in order to find speed, we need the units to be in hours. So we're going to change our time to hours instead of minutes. So instead of 30 minutes, we're going to have 0 0.5 hours. So this is a really important step. Otherwise, we're going to have speed in kilometers per minute. And that's not what we want. OK, so now that we have our distance in kilometers and our time in hours, we can now go back and use our formula. So speed is equal to distance, so that's 20 kilometers, divided by time, so that's 0 0.5. So our speed is going to be 40 kilometers per hour. For more information, visit www.positivemaths.ie. You can email us at info.positivemaths.ie and find us on Facebook and Twitter. Thanks for watching.